Hey, what's up YouTube? All right, in this video, I'm going to talk about the Pen Fierce 2, what I like about it and what I don't like about it. So here we go. So if you have been watching the vlogs, you know that I bought a Pen Fierce 2 at Academy about a month ago. And I said, you know what, I'm gonna try it out and I'm gonna give it a run through and see what I think. All right, so I bought, I bought this Pen Fierce 2 3000, 3000 at Academy for 89 bucks, all right? Been using it for Cast in the Beach, Spanish, Bluefish, uh, Skipjacks, and Redfish, all right? So, what I like about it is that for 89 bucks, I got a decent reel and a pretty good rod. I haven't really had any problems with this rod. This is the, the package, the 3000 Fierce Combo. Okay, so I haven't had any problems with it. It's a stout rod, a little heavy, but for you know the 20 bucks it costs in the package, I'm not complaining. It's big enough for the bull reds, big enough for whatever red redfish bluefish whatever it's not a one of those light like you know uh, light tackle rods this is a stout rod big butt thick you know stout it's the fierce two graphite I know that's upside down but you get the point and uh, it's stout no problems with it a little heavy if I was gonna be using like for redfish I want something a little lighter you know for the little runt reds but for the bull reds it's gonna work good all right now now that I've said I like it I got 20 pound test on here big enough for just about anything but um, the only throwbacks but what you got to realize this is a $89 combo reels probably 50 bucks the rods probably 30 you know somewhere give or take a little left or right on that so you can't complain too much I mean so the true test is going to be in this fall when I hang the bull reds with this, okay? Bull reds will rip the guts out of just about any reel if uh, you don't do it right. If it's cheap, you're going to know. But I will say that a lot of my buddies use this exact same reel and they've been using it a while with no problems. You just can't horse wrench stuff. It's got a decent clicker. Um, it, it, it comes braid ready, so you don't really have to do too much backing. It's got a little rubber band around the spool in here. Um, I got 20 pound tests on this 3000. It's rocking steady. End cap right here is plastic. You know, it's not a slammer. This is not a pin spin fish or a reel. This is a, a lower end um, get me started rod. I bought it because I lose so much gear in the surf. I wanted something that was disposable. This might only last a year or two, but I'm cool with that because I would have probably lost it in between then and there anyways. Didn't want to go spend $200 on another slammer, all right, or another spin fisher. So for 89 bucks, I got a rod with decent eyes, graphite, thick, you know, uh, can throw a big bait, three quarter ounce bait for when I'm throwing those huge rattle traps and those big deep diving crank baits. Um, the reel is it's pretty smooth. It's got a rubber handle. Um, the bail is double the size of the last Fierce, which is cool. Look, it feels you know decent. Um, it's got the good uh, you know good little system on top for setting the drag and everything. And yeah, for 89 bucks with the rod, I'm not complaining. Um, as you saw, I dunked it the other day and on the beach. wasn't a great idea, but it was for science. And it was a little stove up, even though I washed it off and everything, I didn't lubricate it. It uh, was a little stiff when I was playing with it this morning. I threw some uh, real oil in it, took it apart, rocking steady. Um, so, you know, I'm gonna continue using this and when it blows up, watch the vlogs and you'll see when it explodes or if I start having problems with it, you know, I'll start talking about it. But, you know, Penn did a pretty decent job for a low end reel that, you know, has got a metal body and you know even though it's light metal but um it's not a slammer it's not a spin fisher but 
you know, I got no problems recommending it. For a starter reel or a guy that's a weekend warrior, this will work just as good. Put a float on it because I kayak fish and I tend to drop them all the time. And if you watch those vlogs, you know that this thing floats. Okay, so um, this has got the seven foot graphite rod, throws it a mile, but it won't break down. I like having two piece rods so I can put them in my car a lot easier, but I make do. So that's all I got guys. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Watch uh, Facebook for where I'm updating everything, Instagram. Also, I think I got nominated for the, for the kayak fishing magazine, like angler slash vlogger slash whatever the year awards thing. So go vote for me. Put that link down below and I'll see you guys later. Bye.